guys welcome back recently I received two very similar products in my Target Beauty box I will link that video down below if you'd like to see that unboxing but I thought I would do a little review and comparison for you guys on the Nivea in shower body lotion and the Jergens wet skin moisturizer so if you'd like to see the pros and cons of both and which one I prefer then keep watching so I have been testing these products out for about two weeks and I am almost finished with the two ounce bottle of both of them and I feel like with that I've gotten a really good kind of idea of how I like both products and my thoughts on them. So I'm going to jump in and I'm going to go through each category and let you guys know which one I think is better and I will give you my final thoughts at the end. So the first thing we're going to look at is price and if I were to purchase the full size of the Nivea it would be 13.5 ounces and at Target that is $5.99 which I think is a really great price for a moisturizer and the Jergens one full size is 10 ounces and it's a dollar more it is $6.99 so I think that it is a little bit um, more expensive in price and you are getting less product so I think in the price category the Nivea one definitely wins. When purchasing both products they both have three different options to choose from. Nivea took their um, product and decided to cater it towards different skin types. So you can get normal to dry skin, dry skin, and very dry skin. And I have the very dry skin version, which is excellent for me because in the winter time I do have very dry skin. So I think that this is the perfect one for me. I like how Nivea took it and they catered it to different skin types, especially with the moisturizer. I find that very important. The Jergens one, on the other hand, really kind of caters to different scents that people might like. So they have a green tea scent, a coconut oil scent, and a Minoy oil scent. And the one that I am reviewing is the Minoy oil. So I think that they just took a different approach. I think I prefer the Nivea one with the three different versions just because I feel like with the moisturizer, I would rather have it meet my skin type versus have a smell that I like. So while we're on the topic of scent, I will talk about what both of them smell like and which one I prefer. The Nivea In Shower Body Lotion is a very strong floral scent. And I, I don't think it smells awful, but I could see how some people might find it overwhelming. I do find that it doesn't linger on the skin. The smell does not last throughout the day. So that I do like about this product. The Jergens one is very chemically smelling. I find that it's almost like a chemical coconut tropical smell. And while you just quickly smell it, it smells pretty good. When you apply it to your skin, there's something about the way that it mixes, at least with my body chemistry, that I find that it's almost just too chemically and I don't like the way that it smells. I do find that this smell lingers on my skin throughout the day and I wish that it wouldn't. So I do prefer the Nivea one to the smell of the Jergens one. Now that I'm thinking about it, Jergens does offer other scents, so there is a chance that I would like one of those a little more than this one, but this one just isn't doing it for me. Now I'm going to get into the texture of both products. The Nivea one is very similar to their regular moisturizer. It is very thick and emollient, and I love the way that this applies in the shower. I find that it goes on exactly like a regular lotion versus the Jergens one. This one is very watery and it is not super emollient and I find that it is more there's more slip to it when you're applying it. It doesn't apply like a typical lotion. When looking at these two products, the application is a little bit different, so I am going to get into that. The Nivea In Shower Body Lotion is meant to be applied during your shower, so once you've cleansed your skin, you sort of step away from the water and apply it to your entire body, and then when you're done applying it and rubbing it in, you step into the shower again and rinse off the kind of excess lotion that is on your body. And what I like about that is that you still have the steam from the shower to keep you warm. Warm, so it's not super uncomfortable and like I said earlier I love the way that this applies it feels super soft and comfortable and smooth on the skin in the shower I find it very relaxing and comforting to use the Jergens one is very different you apply this one when you get out of the shower and your skin is still damp and you rub it all over your skin and I find that it doesn't sink in very well and it is very watery and when mixed with the water that is on your skin I find that it just slips and slides all over the place 
and I really just don't like applying it out of the shower. I'm kind of cold and I just want to get dried off and then you're supposed to pat your skin dry. I much prefer the application of the Nivea one. It's just a lot more comfortable in my opinion and I really didn't enjoy applying the Jergens one. So now I'm going to get into my final thoughts. I think that the Nivea one is really great. It is super moisturizing, very hydrating. It's comfortable to apply. Um, my cons are that you do have to be careful when you put it on in the shower that you don't slip and slide around and it will make the floor of your shower a little bit slippery so you do have to be careful. But I find that this one does moisturize like a regular lotion and it does last for a very long time. The Jergens one is definitely not as moisturizing as the Nivea one, which is catered towards dry skin, so that may be why. And I find that if I'm going to go through all of the hassle of applying this when I'm out of the shower and I'm cold, I want it to really moisturize my skin, so I don't feel like this does an adequate job of that. And I honestly don't really understand this product. I would almost rather dry my skin off and apply regular lotion. It just doesn't seem like it's a great product in my opinion. So I would say if you're going to choose between these two products, definitely go with the Nivea. I think it's way better. And if you are going to go for a product like this, this one is just, in my opinion, the definite winner. So that is it for my review and comparison of these two products. If you did enjoy my video, please hit the thumbs up button if you found it helpful. And please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. And thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And I hope you guys have an awesome week.